Hi, I'm Gregory Sutton. I'm a carpenter, landscaper, and designer, and in my spare time, a historical researcher. I'm from Cal Modesto, California, and I want to tell you about a book, Cracking the Code, The Fascinating Truth About Taxation in America. Somewhat to my surprise, when I first read it, this book showed me that the income tax is perfectly constitutional. Turns out the tax is an excise or privilege tax and has been enforced with the constitutional requirement of geographical uniformity every time Congress has utilized it. What's more, and even more to my surprise, this book made clear to me that the income tax is actually a very desirable tax. And it was for these very same desirable reasons that Sir William Blackstone recommended it as very popular taxation some 250 years ago in his commentaries on the laws of England. In fact, knowing what I know now, I firmly oppose any effort to abolish the income tax or replace it with any alternative tax system. Those promoting such proposals simply don't understand the existing tax, nor its long history as an excise or privilege tax. Another thing this book showed me is that wages, as specifically defined in the tax code, are excisable income subject to the tax, something a lot of folks have mis misunderstood over the years. And it showed me that anyone can become liable for the tax, no matter where they live, what their citizenship might be, or what kind of work they do. I've learned that while not everyone does become liable for the tax, regardless of how much money they might make or earn, everyone is capable of doing things that make them liable. Whether you're a government employee or a business person in the private sector, or whether you're an American or a foreigner, or whether you live in Puerto Rico, Wyoming, or Timbuktu, you can do things that make you subject to the tax. This book showed me a great deal more than just these few things, of course. But this is enough to get me to the last point. Reading this book has further proved to me that government officials are willing to overtly and blatantly lie to keep Americans from knowing truths about the income tax those officials find inconvenient. Government officials have very deliberately and explicitly lied about each of the things I've just told you. I learned from actually reading this book. Those officials have claimed that the book says the opposite of each of these things. Even in court filings and testimony and even in rulings by judges. You'll understand why when you read the book for yourself. But I'm sure that even before that, you'll recognize that the reason government officials would lie about the content of a book is not because they are trying to do something with your best interest in mind. Thanks for watching.